You're welcome. All right, let's take a look. In Acts 17, verse 11, uh, I'll start reading in verse 10. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who, coming thither, went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily whether those things were so. Therefore, many of them believed also of honorable women, which were Greeks and of men, not a few. So they searched the scriptures daily and, and we have to understand that they were hearing things they had never heard before. And um, God was making major changes in the first century concerning um, um, expanding the gospel, no longer uh, just um, dealing with national Israel for the most part, but including the Gentiles as fellow heirs and, and mysteries were being revealed. And many Jews, many Jews shut their ears and their eyes and and they they would not check these things out but the Bereans did and and so they're an excellent example of God's elect we uh, of course if somebody comes and says I received a dream and a vision or God spoke to me in a tongue and and uh, here's what he told me then we immediately say no no thank you don't don't bother because we know they violated the the law of god in revelation 22 that we're not to add or subtract to the words of this book so we don't have to listen to that but if someone comes and and they um compare scripture with scripture and and they're they're using the right methodology they're 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 not um, quoting reformers, they're, they're, they're not telling you what their church believes in, 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 um, in a confession or a creed, but they're using the, the proper biblical uh, hermeneutic of comparing scripture with scripture, and, and they take time to make sure conclusions harmonize, and they're very careful to always go to the Bible, go to the Bible, go to the Bible, well, it, it is um, just, uh, it, it, it is basically shutting one's eyes and putting their hands over their ears to say, I don't want to listen to it, and I'm not going to check it out. No, they, they were wrong about something in the past. They were wrong about May 21, so they think. Well, they were wrong about this, and, and so I'm never going to listen to them again, and I'm going to actually instead do what I, I want to do, do what I think I should do. And, and yes, I, I'm aware that there's a great amount of uh, biblical studies put forth, like the end of the church age and after, uh, the wheat and the tares and things like that, but I don't care. I'm, I'm, just go I'm going to push it aside and just go back to church. Well, that, it, that is clearly not the response of an elect child of God. It, and it was not the response of the Bereans. It's not a noble thing to do at all. It is something that is careless and um, that, uh, that people uh, have given evidence of in the Bible or those that are unsaved do that very thing. They do not listen to um, doctrine that is presented uh, even in a, a very careful manner and, and, and that's not the way of God's elect. But thank you for calling and sharing that verse.